Today, we're diving into the unexpected twist in the Slayer saga with Kerry King's solo project and the surprising Slayer reunion. <laughs> In a recent interview with Good Company, Phil Demel, member of Kerry King's solo band, reveals he was caught off guard by the sudden announcement of Slayer's reunion for several festival shows this year. Let's hear it from the man himself. Phil says, yeah, it caught me off guard, I didn't know anything about it. To have a Slayer gig announced before we've even played a show with Kerry King's solo band was really weird to me. This surprising news comes just weeks after Kerry King unveiled details about his solo project and almost five years after Slayer's farewell tour. It's no wonder fans are left scratching their heads. But as we all know, Slayer is known for their unpredictable moves. Interestingly, when Kerry's solo project was initially announced, he was almost certain there would be no Slayer reunion. In a Rolling Stone interview, he stated, I can pretty much 100% say no because I have a new outlet, and it's not Slayer, but it sounds like Slayer. The Slayer reunion lineup will feature Kerry King, Tom Araya, Gary Holt, and Paul Bostaff, the same powerhouse team that took the stage in 2019. It seems Slayer fans are in for a treat at Aftershock, Riot Fest and Louder Than Life festivals this September and October. Despite the unexpected turn of events, Phil Demel expresses his contentment, stating, Slay is none of my business the whys and the whens, it's none of my business. I had questions when I first heard Slayer was coming back and they were answered. And I'm 100% at peace and good with everything that's happening. Let's shift gears a bit. Kerry King's solo album From Hell I Rise is set to drop on May 17th via Raining Phoenix Music. The lineup includes demo boss staff, bassist Kyle Sanders and vocalist Mark Osegueda. The record promises to bring the Slayer-esque intensity we all crave. Phil Demo sheds light on his contributions to the album, stating, Kerry wrote all the music. He wrote all the lyrics. They had pretty much all of it done for a while. I was structuring solos at home. I have a home studio and I was constructing my leads. And there you have it, the latest chapter in the Slayer saga. What are your thoughts on this unexpected reunion? Drop your comments below, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe Music Mad for more metal updates. Until next time, stay heavy.